Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Literally just got up, as you can probably hear from my voice and see from my face. Today, I thought I would do a day in my life video, quarantine edition. If you're watching this from the future, the whole world is currently self-isolating from COVID-19. It's a very strange time. If you're already subscribed to my channel, you'll know that for the past three weeks, I've been posting Australia vlogs because before all of this happened, I spent two blissful weeks in Australia and I filmed it all for you guys so I have a Melbourne vlog, a Great Ocean Road vlog, and a Sydney vlog. I will link those down below if you want to watch them. We're back to reality today. I have been self-isolating like everybody else since we got back from our trip on March 16th. I'm very fortunate to be isolating with my family at home so that's where I'm gonna be filming today. So anyway, this is a day in my life in self-isolation. I'm gonna work you right now it's not gonna be super exciting but this is real life right now so here it is in all its glory <laughs> okay let's get started I wanted to show you guys what I do to my face every morning when I get out of bed so I've already washed it and the first thing I like to do is just use a micellar water on it the one I've been using now for I don't even know how many years is bioderma I feel like everyone has heard of it and I just put it on a cotton pad and go all over my face with it I'm just using the viewfinder as a mirror today <laughs> then I go in with this little homemade toner. This is just tea tree oil and witch hazel. And I do some of that all over my face too. I feel like because I've been wearing literally no makeup this entire time, my skin has just felt great. How's your skin doing, guys? And I just like to spray one of these uh, vitamin mist waters because I feel nice. Ooh, don't breathe them in. And moisturizing. So I'm just gonna go in with OG, some Cetaphil, and some rosehip oil. I've done a couple of skincare videos on my channel, which I will link for you guys, where I just go into more detail about like what I use, why I use it, what it does, all that good stuff. Finish it off with some eye cream here, ring fingers. Maybe get my hair out of my face here and be helpful. All right. Looking refreshed, looking a little less like we just rolled out of bed five minutes ago. All right, that is it. Let's go downstairs and get some breakfast. It's breakfast time now, and I already have made myself a coffee. This is my favorite mug at home. It's the St. Petersburg Starbucks mug that my mom got me when she went there two years ago. Anyway, so my favorite breakfast at the moment has been just fresh berries with some sort of cereal on top and oat milk. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Jeez, I mean, I'm sure you know what all of those things look like, but I wouldn't have a video then, would I? These are my berries of choice today. I've got strawberries, blackberries, and raspberries. Just gonna dump them into my bowl. I'm pretty much just gonna pour cereal on top and it's gonna act kind of like a granola. I think making your own granola is actually really easy and that might be a good video idea. If you guys actually have any granola recipes that you really like, leave a link down below or just like a recipe down below and maybe I'll try making them. But in the meantime, I'm just using whatever we have in the house. Today it's oatmeal crisp, so we're gonna top our berries with that. I baked cookies yesterday, so I'm also gonna be eating one of them for breakfast. Let me show you what they look like because they turned out really good. Look at that. That's pretty amazing. So I'll also be eating that. Guys, I put on a bit of makeup, can you tell? <laughs> I just thought, you know, it's a special occasion. I'm filming a video. Where else am I gonna be wearing makeup right now? My makeup is just sitting sad in the drawer not being used, you know? I thought I'd give it its moment to shine, so. Anyway, I've had my breakfast, brushed my teeth, put on deodorant off to a great start. Now I'm going to start editing my video. I'm currently editing my last Australia vlog. By the time this goes up, all three will be up. You can watch them and enjoy, but I am in the process of editing the third one today because it's going up tomorrow. YouTube has actually kind of been a saving grace for me. It's the thing that's been providing me the most structure during this time, which I personally need. Uh, so I'll normally get up in the morning, I'll have breakfast, and then the whole middle part of my day will be spent editing editing or planning a video. I edit in these glasses. These are my favorite blue light glasses. I actually do find that they work. They make everything sort of have a yellow or like a warm tone. And then when you take them off, things are more blue. I have also put on a freshly laundered sweatsuit. And you've got to have a fun sock because um, why would you not? Before I start editing, I wanted to share with you guys my mom's monstrous monstera plant. Put the camera down on the stairs so I can try and show you 
how insanely huge it is to scale. Like, can you see? Look at the size of this leaf. It's very impressive. Okay, time to edit. So for today's lunch, I'm going to be making my family some avocado toast. Very exciting. Does everyone in the world know how to make avocado toast? Probably. Am I going to show you how I make it today anyway? Absolutely. So let's get started here. I'm going to balance you in this fruit bowl. Oh, that's pretty good. Nice. All right. So you obviously start out with toast because it's avocado toast. Typically would use a more traditional style toast, but this is what we had in the house. So this is what we're working with today. Find some ripe avocados in this little vase. My mom keeps them in. Let's see. I normally just feel them and I feel like by touch you can tell. That's a good one. All right, three ripe avocados. Also gonna be using some tomato, oops. Black pepper, Trader Joe's, everything but the bagel seasoning. I know you can't get this everywhere, but if you do live in an area where there's Trader Joe's, this stuff is gonna take your avocado toast to the next level and salt which I have in this adorable little pug salt shaker start by washing your avocado let's see if I chose a good one oh <gasps> that is a perfect avocado so I normally mash my avocado straight onto the toast Ooh, look at that steam mmm I slice my avocado carefully in the skin shell then I just scoop it out with a massive spoon like so like that and then put it straight onto my toast I do the same thing for the other side take your seed out I put my avocado on my toast and I literally like mash it on the bread so I like to mash about this much kind of go for this like artisanal look where it's not like fully mashed you know I like to do some lime juice obviously ideally you'd be using a fresh lime but this is what we had just do a bit of that right on top oh yeah our tomatoes I almost forgot let me know down below if your life has also just been revolving around your meals lately so we got our tomato on and do some fresh ground pepper salt our bagel seasoning. And this is the final product. Mmm. Very easy, very delicious, very nutritious. Now I'm going to make the rest of them. What have you guys been eating for lunch? Have you tried that TikTok coffee, the like foam coffee? Is it actually good? Because it just looks like a lot of work. Is it worth it, guys? I also feel like everyone in the world is making banana bread. Am I wrong? I don't think so. But I actually did find a really good vegan banana bread recipe, which if you guys are interested, I will film a video of me making it because it's super easy and it honestly just tastes like banana bread. I'm halfway through. None of my family wants to be on camera, but are you enjoying your lunch? Yes. Mom? Yeah. Can you uh, at least avocado cheers with me? Mom? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've left my kitchen, can you believe it? I feel like I spend most of my time in my kitchen now because I work in there, I eat my meals in there. Another thing I've been doing is actually working out quite a bit. As some of you will know, when I'm in LA, I train with my trainer, Scott, but while I've been home, I've just been doing like at-home workouts. So what I like to do is there are a few people that I really like on Instagram that tend to post little short circuits that you can do, essentially curate a workout that works for you. I think right now everyone is posting their at-home workout, so it's really not been hard to find some sort of way to like stay active and exercise. It's just something that I find has been really good for me, keeping some semblance of structure, and I just feel really good when I'm exercising. Just gotta do what works for you. So I've been trying to do like a workout every other day. Today is my non-workout day. Today is my cooking dinner day. Wow, oh, this has um, been some really interesting lighting. But yeah, it's about five o'clock now, so I'm going to make some dinner. Today we're making uh, chickpea and chorizo tacos. I mean, like my day has not been super exciting, but that's kind of the reality of things. I've just been editing for most of the day. Lately after dinner, my family and I have been playing some sort of game, so bananagrams or cards, and it's been really cute because it's not typically something we do. I feel like games are something my family 
family plays like over holidays. All right, let's get cooking. Back in the kitchen. Today we're making homemade chorizo and chickpea tacos. First thing you have to do is set the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Oven is set, drain and rinse the chickpeas, roughly chop the cilantro, mince the garlic, and then, okay, let's start with that. So we're gonna drain our chickpeas first. Comment down below if you remember me opening a can with this thing. I think it was in my um, video with Mike. This is the old school can opener. <laughs> okay, we're gonna strain these over the sink. Chickpeas are being washed. Oh, I like having a helper. So chopping the cilantro and the garlic. Are we chopping all four cloves? It seems like a lot. I guess so. The cilantro is for garnish, so we're gonna chop that later. So first thing we're gonna do is make our roast chickpeas. We've already drained and washed our chickpeas. Thank you. Once we have that all combined before we put it in the oven, I will show you what it looks like. Okay, chickpeas are ready. This is what they look like. Mmm. So we're gonna pop these in the oven for 14 to 16 minutes. Chickpeas are in the oven. The next thing we're gonna do is make our homemade chorizo. We have this big hunk of meat here. Sorry to all the vegans. Fry it up, spice it. They also give you some apple cider vinegar, I guess, to make it tender. I've used vinegar before on meat, but never apple cider vinegar, so. Sure. Sous chef is just uh, blend making our chorizo meat right now. Okay, thank you. You gotta get in there, but just remember you should be washing your hands for 20 seconds with soap and warm water before you touch any kind of meat or human being or literally any other surface. You hear that hand washing? Happens all the time in this house. We're now gonna heat a pan with some olive oil and start cooking up our meat. So the meat is sizzling away. You just gotta break it up in the pan. We're going to warm our tortillas. The chickpeas are gonna be done in 28 seconds and we're really close to putting this whole meal together. How exciting. The chickpeas are done and we're shaking them. Oh yeah. Just gonna pull the tortillas out of the oven. We warm them up in this little foil thing here. Our tortillas are here. I just warmed them at um, 400 degrees for seven minutes. Lovely. Plated the tacos, gonna go in with some toppings. Guacamole. <laughs> Yogurt and spices. I don't like cilantro, so I will not be putting any on my plate. So this is what it looks like. Also, my mom is eating vegan at the moment, so she's just having chickpeas and everything else. Okay, gonna enjoy dinner. Post-dinner banana grams. Mom, we're still, you already turned your letters oh, over. Sorry. Somebody eating. No, split. Good job. Check my words, please. After you finish your round, you have to get someone else at the table to check your words. It's just a rule that we've implemented in this house. So this is mine. Mom and dad are still finishing theirs up. Very good. Yes. So for those of you who don't know how Bananagrams works, this is the- um... Bananagrams! <laughs> Can you check my word? <laughs> so it comes in this fun little bag. This isn't sponsored, I just love this game. So when you start, everyone gets 21 tiles, or at least if you're a group of four like we are, everyone gets 21 tiles. So you'd have your 21 tiles, you'd have them flip down. On the count of three, we'd call split. And you quickly flip your tiles over, and then pretty much once all of them are flipped over, the objective is to, to make words using all of the tiles you have. And all the words have to be connected like this. Obviously that's more than 21 tiles because this is the finished product. All right, we'll probably go for another round here. This has become our um, post-dinner tradition and it's fun and educational. Right guys? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know down below what games you've been playing. I don't like puzzles, so I don't want any puzzle suggestions. They're not for me. No puzzles, please. So it is now almost um, 1 a.m. <laughs> I spent all night editing, and now I'm gonna bake some bread. But before any of you are too impressed by that statement, I will be using our bread maker. This is her. 
Got some uh, really ripe bananas over there, so I might be making banana bread in the next few days. The avocado toast I made for lunch today was pretty much the last of our bread, and we are very big on carbs in this house, so my dad asked me if I could bake some bread in the bread maker. It's super, super easy. The bread maker we have comes with one of these booklets, and it's got a bunch of recipes in it. And the one that I really like to make is called milk bread. You just need bread flour, salt, dry milk, butter, sugar, milk, and dry yeast. This is like a foolproof bread maker because it's even got a separate compartment for the yeast. Oh my god, this lighting is amazing. So you essentially dump everything into this thing and then you put it in here, you close that, you do your settings, and you've got fresh bread in four hours, so let's go. the bread is in it'll be ready in four hours which means that i have to come downstairs at 5 15 in the morning to take it out of the bread maker which that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed i did want to say before i sign off that i hope everyone is staying safe and being vigilant with their health and the health of others i hope that some of the content that i've made helps to brighten your day a little bit and ease some of your stress the nice thing about social media is i feel like there are a lot of people right now creating really fun content that is sort of helping all of us get through this weird time. I would apologize for this vlog not being more exciting, but what does anyone really expect from a quarantine vlog at this point? If you'd like, you can subscribe to this channel and like this video and join our little internet family. Like I've already said, I hope you guys are doing well. Make sure to check in with your loved ones, with your friends, especially people who have to isolate alone, who have no family nearby. If you've got older neighbors or grandparents that maybe can't get out to the grocery store, offer to go for them. I know a lot of grocery stores right now are doing seniors hours, which is amazing. If there's someone in your life who's older, more at risk, who isn't aware of these sorts of programs and place let them know that could be very very helpful for somebody there is a light at the end of the tunnel guys i don't know how long the tunnel is but the light is definitely there it's interesting to have this day documented because i imagine it'll be very strange to look back on it in a couple years and be like huh remember when that happened anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you next week bye